Right then, so I've done a smart repair on this bonnet. We've took it up to the swage line. I wouldn't normally do bonnets, but I've took this one on. But it'll come out alright when it's done. But today's been a bit of a challenge because over the road, and I'll show you a quick video, there's a still saw cutting concrete and blocks, some building work going off, so that's kicking up a load of dust. And believe it or not, down the road, there's uh, again, I videoed it, there's a guy um, shredding trees and bushes, so literally bits are flying everywhere, so it's not the best. Not the best conditions for spraying outside, particularly a bonnet, particularly a black bonnet. So, I have got a few bits in it, more than I normally get, but I get asked every single week, multiple times, what do you do with the bits? How can you get the bits? Don't you get bits outside? Yes, of course we get bits, and this is a perfect job because I've got some bits. So I'll show you how to get the uh, paint finish um, looking much better despite any bits of shrapnel what's landed in it you're gonna get it it's outside it's spraying outside um, like I say this one's particularly bad so it's particularly good for a video um, it's alright showing things going right all the time but real life is obviously showing things that are going wrong that that's more important than the showing things that are going right in my eyes so right let's take a look okay so it all looks good from here but let's get one of the worst bits. Yeah, there you can see. There's quite a lot of bits around there. Bit naughty. And then this bit wasn't too bad around here, but let's zoom in on some bits like this. You're going to get it. And they do stand out, so they need sorting. It's quite a big one there, look. Also, um, there's quite a bit of drop back on this round where I base coated it which was round this bit here this bit um, I'll be honest I rushed this quite a lot because I knew that guy down the road was they'd been quiet for about half an hour so I thought they obviously having a dinner break um, which is why they stopped shredding trees but the cars covered in bits already the atmosphere is full of bits so I've kind of put the base coat on a bit quick Again, it's a good video because it's it shows that even though it's dropped back, now you can just catch it there. There's not much shine on it. It's not not looking amazing, but I'll show you what we can do with sandpaper and a buffer, and we'll get this looking hopefully mint. Right. Okay, so I'm going to keep this dead simple because it's a bit of a DIY one. There's all sorts of tools out there and different machines and sanding pads, but probably one of the most simplest ways is just to use uh, a bottle of water and basically some wet and dry paper just just sandpaper 3m doesn't have to be 3m a rubbing block something like that something quite stiff this one's got like a bit of a foam back on it but again it's not absolutely detrimental you can do without that one but i'm just going to show you a couple of little blocks that i've got um for sanding with so you just have to bear with me though because I'm going to be holding it by hand so I'm only going to have one hand but that's simply because I want to show you exactly what things look like when they're zoomed in. Because I could put it on a tripod but you won't see what I see. Okay so we need to be lubricating the surface, wetting the surface so that the sandpaper works properly. Sometimes it's good to have this soaking in a bucket with some soapy water in. Remember this is the worst bit, so I'll just lightly sand it and I'll just show you what it's going to look like. Okay. 
so you can see it's flattened all the top layer down and it's just exposing all the bits okay You can see that area there, it's starting to become completely smooth with none of these bits. That's kind of what you want to be removing. Like I say, this was quite bad. Well, very bad really, so it makes a good video. Let's just do that bit. See, it's starting to flatten them all down and become smooth. I think this bit here, why there was so much on here, I was rushing obviously, but I think a lot of dust off the base coat and stuff just blew off the bagging when it was blowing about. So that's why we've got quite a bad area around here. Uh, if we could just focus on another bit here, look. There. Just take him out. was quite a bad one here, wasn't they? Yeah. Again, get your spray. It's got that big one out, it were about there. Okay, so you get the idea. I'll crack on with that. We'll have a look in a minute when it's all flattered. So as you've gone over it all and sanded the area, obviously, let's have a look, it looks really dull as it's dried. Wiped it off with either a paper towel or a microfiber cloth. And it's, it all starts to dry like that, which is good because you start to see where any of the remaining bits of orange peel are. Or any defects that we're trying to get rid of. So we need to be getting rid of these. Quite hard to do this with one hand. Let's just tear up. If you do get one little bit, sometimes I mean you're gonna have to be careful not to rub through, but just get a little bit of a local one like that. Yep. Show them this out. Okay, so this bit's optional but advisable. Um, sometimes compounds don't remove the 1500 scratches perfectly. Uh, it depends what you're using, depends how aggressive you are, depends if you've got a DA or a rotary or what equipment you've got. So, as it's a DIY video, I suggest you do do this step, and that's 
get a little block or something nice and flat so you get a nice even sanding surface with some 2000 around it okay exactly the same again just go over it again get a good wet down make sure you block and that's wet normally I've got that in my hands constantly wetting it but I'm doing it one handed at the minute so and just go over the whole lot just nice not too much pressure and that will be refining the finish so that the compounds can remove it better Okay, so I've been over it with the 1500, done all the denibbing, got all the little bits out, and as you can see, there's none there anymore. This area around here was really bad, but that's just took them all out. And then I went over it with a little rubber block, some 2000, just to refine it and make it easier to buff back up, polish back up. One of the reasons for these blocks is, or some kind of block is when you're sanding with your fingers there's a tendency to push your fingers in as you're going whereas the block stops that so you get a much nicer smoother finish you see now that's been finished in 2000 there's 3000 paper 4000 uh, we could hit it with a machine uh, a DA with a, a, a pad on it um, cutting a, a sanding disc sponge sanding disc with water there's all sorts of different options and there's all sorts of different grades to go to but just to keep this simple as I can and DIY based I've just gone 1500 and then 2000 and that's where it's left us with so I'm going to switch to the GoPro now and we're going to polish it up right then so I've switched over to the GoPro now to do this bit because it's I need two hands so we're going to polish it back up Obviously we've sanded it so it's all dull, which is what we want. We've got all the little bits out, so it's looking nice and smooth, and it's uh, ready for buffing back up. So I won't go on and on about polishing compounds and stuff, there's loads on the market, but if you're in the UK, this stuff's good. This is quite readily available, easy little kit you can buy this stuff. I'm actually trying a couple of other compounds out at the minute, but I'll just stick to the stuff that you can get from... Uh, your hardware places, your car parts, basically car places in the UK or off the internet. So it's just something that if I do it and show you, you know that it works, you see. And we've gone 15, 2000 and then that particular compound. Okay, so we need to get the compound on the panel. There's a couple of ways of doing it. You can just go like that if you want. When it's fresh paint, um, it tends to almost absorb the polish and the compounds way more than if it was an old panel or an original panel so I always put a little bit more on but I'll just show you both ways obviously a lot of people do this way that's that hedge cutter going off again some people just dab it round Careful of these edges. Polisher in one place for too long because it will burn through. 
that's the only thing I'll say really about that as long as you keep it moving you should be all right good Okay, that's all done. That racket's finally stopped. A lot. Bits landing all over it since I wiped it off. That one, beast. Nice finish all round. So that's what you do when you get bits in your paint job. There's other methods, but I've kept it as simple as I can. With stuff that people have got at home, bits of sandpaper and that and a buffer, a bit of polish. Happy days.